Welcome to Let's Fly VFR and today we're going to resolve all those ortho for XP problems you guys have been having. Let's make a single tile and get on the right path. Welcome to Let's Fly VFR. All in X-Plane 11. Props, jets and much more. All done in real world weather. make it as real as possible every fly. Subscribe, like and leave me a comment. Look forward to hearing from you. And welcome back to Let's Fly VFR. Now I've been looking on the forums and chatting with a few people over the last couple of days since I did my previous make your custom zoom levels and I'll put that above for you. But I suggest highly that you have a look at this one first and after that, if you want to do zoom levels around your airports and towns, go because go and do it then. Because I've had some troubles as well, guys. Um, I have not successfully actually got it to do the complete thing. And normally, what I do is I do what I'm going to show you now. So I'm going to make the tile for the area that I want first, and then after that, you can go and have a look at the zoom, how to make your custom zooms around your airport so that. You can have a, a 16, a zoom level 16 over the whole tile and save a hell of a lot of uh, uh, hard drive space and SSD space, which is really important, but then have the really high levels around the area that you need it. That is when you're coming in on an approach and you're landing at an airport. So um, I really need to do Adelaide International again another time. So anyway. Let's go from the top here and let me walk you through it. Latitude, longitude, don't worry, that currently is wherever it thinks it, the, the system is. Custom build directory, don't need it. Base source, wherever, whatever you think is good. The eye is Bing, start there probably now. Now you can have a C source if you want to and it will go off and get data on your C, but I'm not going to do that now. Base level zoom, now you can have again right up but from 16, it's about 20 minutes on my computer to do one tile, just basic tile. But if you put it on 17, it's about 40 minutes and then it goes up and up and up and you go from a, a, a 1, 1 1.2 gig file possibly through to 10, then to 15, then to 20 and then it just goes on and on for one tile. And we, you know, we can't really afford to do that, can we? Unless you have a massive hard drive. So let's keep it simple. Let's keep our base loop zoom level at 16. Now, if you want to go 17, I think that's still probably okay. But if you're at four or five thousand feet coming in, can't see it's going to make that much of a difference, guys. Now, if you're going to go low level over an area, okay, you want to put it all up. But if you're flying at a reasonable a few thousand feet, 16 and 17 and 18, probably not going to make that much difference at that altitude. So, bigger source, base zoom level, leave the custom zoom, we'll leave, do that in the other video. Okay? there for you. C sources, I'm going to leave those alone right now. We're not going to do anything here in this build vector. Okay, Build meshes, leave it alone for now. You don't need to worry about it. Down into build tile. Don't need to do anything here either guys, just leave it alone. Okay, This is the big one. Click here. Now you can see what's happened here. It's opened up on my C directory and it's already in my custom suit because I've been backwards and forwards there. Alright, so let's go. You can see what I've got here. Down here on my C drive. Boom. Double click on it. Come down to your find. Explain 11. Click on it once. I click on it twice. Come down here to custom scenery. Click on that. So don't go into it though. Don't click again. Just select the folder. Select folder. That's what you need to see. Uh, that's for you, Sean. If you're out there, buddy. Uh, having a look at this, okay, yours would be the X directory. The first one is going to be always what your uh, X plane is installed on, whatever drive that might be, whatever you've called it, that will be this first one. But after it, X plane 11, custom scenery, nothing else, that's all it should be, okay, guys. And, and you're finished, that's all you need to do with this page, all right. So let's go to click on Earth Tile Map. Now, this is where we go, click the area that we to build and here we are back in Australia so what I thought I'd do because I've done this one here and I've done the custom zooms on that let me hold down the shift and the click and you can see that okay 
See how it's bordered and red. It's ready to go. Next step, and also check here. Okay, your active latitude and longitude is written here. And this is what your file will be called. This is what you'll be looking for back in your scenery folder. Okay, so that's done. Don't touch any of this stuff. Don't need it. Build masks. I believe you need that. And build overlays. I believe you need that. We finished. Hit the batch build. You're building a tile. Okay, so it's very simple. Now, obviously you can't see anything if you haven't done this before. But come back in here to your first page. And it's being done. It's being built for you. You want to watch your progress? Look here. Okay, and when it's finished, these will slowly fill up. So they're not going to take a great deal of time. So that's all that is, guys. Okay, let me run over it one more time. Okay, and you can see our uh, longitude and latitude of the tile that we're building is here. Custom directory, leave alone. Base source, Bing is okay. If you're in America, you might like to use the USA ones. These you need to experiment with. Experiment with to see what qualities they have available as well. At 16, it may be fine, but if you select an 18, it may not have that level of quality available, so you may have to find another one. So give it a try. Don't do masses of tiles. Do one tile. If it looks really good, good, fine. Go back and then do multiple tiles. You can do multiple tiles exactly the same way as we've done this. All you need to do is hold down next to control and select a multiple of tiles if that's what you want to do. And we can go back later on and do the customs. Uh, areas that you want around the towns and cities maybe around your little airports and whatever that you want to fly in and out of to make that look really crisp and beautiful so again i'm going to repeat myself all right here we go there's your latitudes coordinates don't touch anything base source bi is okay b level zoom 16 is fine leave these ones alone this one here leave it alone you don't need to worry about it for now build base mesh leave it alone it's got meshes already in there uh, in explain 11. Build tile. Okay, you don't need anything here. You don't need anything down here. You can choose to have the computer shut down or exit the program when it's finished if you're leaving it on overnight and save some power. Down here again, very crucial. What you need to do is build overlay. Click on that. Find your explain 11 custom scenery. Go there and then go back to the earth map touch anything click on build mask build overlays select the tile that you want and hit batch build and you're finished okay guys as simple as that quick short video for you i hope this really does tidy up uh, a lot of the issues many of you guys have been having trying to do this and not actually being able to complete it i know it's frustrating but it's a simple simple process and from here again if you want to go back and zoom in on melbourne international airport and all the plethora of little airports that are around it you can go back and do that and it's a quick process because it only needs to get a few little tiles and update them so the area that you select will become a much higher definition okay guys i'm finished that's enough for it if you like the tile i like the video please give me a thumbs up if you want to see more please hit the subscribe button Thanks to you guys that are coming back and watching my videos. We're nearly at 100 subscribers as I make this, which is pretty massive considering how long this channel has been running. So looking forward to hearing lots of you go, yes, that fix it. We're now building lots of tiles and we no longer have time to talk to you, Danny, because we're busy building our tiles. All right, catch you again soon. Hope you enjoyed the video. Catch you in the next one and look for the custom tile video which uh, should be linked probably in a couple of places above for you and at the end tiles so that you can then go ahead and make those airports and those cities that you live in and around just amazing here in X-Plane. Okay guys, I thought it'd be remiss of me not to come back and show you the end result at least that it is. So as you can see here, not changing anything, here's my latitude and longitude, minus 38145. Remember that number? Down here, this is now all full. Left it do nothing and again, custom scenery is all fine so now that's done let's go find it we're going to open it up here and because uh, yes i've had a look of course to make sure it was there so we've come through to c in my case if you have another drive that's fine double click on x plane double click on custom scenery and then if we wander our way down through very 
very conveniently because it's a number has been put here with the rest of our author series. So there it is. So we know it's completed. If I right click on it and we look properties, you can see that it's 2.23 gigabyte at um, zoom level 16. So now 2 becomes about 12 or 15 just by going to 17 gig. 17 zoom 17 okay so doing that and the one last thing that's very important that some of you may find a little bit strange when we talk about the any file any file sits in here as well okay um, let me just find it see what your scenery packs any that's my backup I made a backup some time ago when it was good and it is worth doing that right at the very basic the way you have stock standard everything so double click on it and it'll open up in Notepad. And what happens a lot of the time is that um, new files will get popped in here. Oh, no, I haven't done it. Okay, I've just done the fatal mistake. Not fatal, but an important mistake is that you have to run explain. So let's kick explain in the guts. I'm on 11.125 release one. Got an update yesterday. Sorry, this is dragging out a bit, long, but you must do this. If you don't do this, the explain does not read the new information that's in the file and it does not know it's there and it doesn't put it in the any file for you so that's all we needed to do we can exit now we don't need to do any more than that come back in here go to our C drive go to explain 11 go to our custom scenery go to just roll down to find Scenery packs, okay, configuration file, okay, scenery packs, and there we go, it's all looking pretty good. And let me just run over it. Something's changed. Normally, this would appear at the top, but you can see one, minus 30 at 145. Normally, when you get a new file, it comes into the top. If you get it, you put a new library or something in, it will appear at the top, and you need to come move it down. Maybe Laminar have got smart and had it work out that if it's a um, uh, an author file, something it knows where to go. So anyway, so there it is anyway. So you got I have the global scenery four down the bottom here. So I've got the meshes, different meshes. Okay, these come first. Your author sceneries as you work up. Then you have your uh, libraries. You can see all the libraries that I like to use. And as we go up, then we start to see all the airports that I've built. And um, from there, go up to the very top. And we're going to go and have a look at uh, Michelle Fisher as soon as I download Canada, which is my next job. All right, guys, so there we go, finished. That's all you need to do. I will catch you again next time on Let's Fly VFR. Good scenery building, guys. Good scenery building. Have a great time. Enjoy it. Love it. And once you've got your sceneries down, Go back and use your zoom sceneries and um, get some higher quality for those airports and cities that you're flying low over. Catch you again soon. Have a really awesome day. Let's make it as real as possible every fly. Subscribe, like and leave me a comment. Look forward to hearing from you.